Welcome to Google Wave. My name is Ernest Rando, and I'll be walking you through today my uh, meeting agenda template and how it works and how you can use Google Wave to uh, conduct and document a meeting, an uh, online conference call. One of the first things that you're going to want to do when you start getting waves and finding waves that you're interested in is to take the wave and move it to a folder. Um, you will want to create a folder over here on the side. Um, and, and start very early uh, with a folder structure that you can kind of put different waves into. Um, so this uh, template and this video is for anybody that may be new to Google Wave and for anybody who maybe has received an invitation from me here I am going to cover the conference gadget I'm also going to co cover a, a couple of the useful um, links that I recommend for first-time Wave users to definitely check out to make uh, Google Wave a little bit more useful and to help yourself learn. I will also be covering how to create uh, you know, a basic meeting agenda format. You may or may not already know how to do this. I won't spend too much time on it, but just kind of outlined what's in my template. And um, that will basically be it. <coughs> the first thing you need to know about waves are that first you create a wave and within the wave you see these little green boxes here these are actually wavelets um, so a wave consists of wavelets and you can keep creating and replying to wavelets uh, and keep making them inside each other um, so that is kind of some of the, the terminology uh, that one should use when referring to you know different sections and that's why you see that there's a little indent here is because these three wavelets are actually part of this larger wavelet and you can actually see that these are indented um, the first gadget that I have in my template is the conference gadget to uh, add a conference gadget or use any of the text editing tools or other tools available to you you need to first be editing a wavelet if you create a new wavelet it will automatically put you in the editing mode if you are not uh, if you're trying to edit an existing wavelet you will need to double click twice and click the edit button uh, the conference call gadget is this nice little R up here. It's called the Ribbit Conference Call Gadget. And basically you insert the gadget and it will, whoever's contacts that you have within the wave, it will automatically populate them in the conference call gadget. It is up to each person that is a part of the wave to input their own phone number so I would click add my f number and it will give me a nice little box where I could enter my telephone number um, as you can see it checks and makes sure that you're actually putting in a valid phone number um, so once you put in a valid phone number it will show your phone number below your contact information and as soon as if you're holding an online meeting you and everybody has their phone number in whoever's moderating the meeting simply hits start conference and it will call everybody within that wave and you will begin a conference call it's just that easy um, uh, basically I've provided um, you're probably gonna you might have some external files that you want to provide to the rest of the 
members of the meeting. Um, so I put a wavelet in here to insert a file. All you have to do is go to the edit and you'll see that there is a nice add attachment uh, gizmo up here. It can take to your your computer and you upload a file and as you can see it uploads pretty quick nice simple text file and then all anybody else has to do is click on it and they have access to that uh, document you can see whoa let's not do that now for the meeting agenda format um, with all meetings you're going to want to pe prepare people ahead of time as well as provide them with some kind of you know set kind of some kind of structure before the meeting on what's going to happen and how things are going to go um, this meeting the creation of the meeting can actually be a collaborative effort and but usually you have somebody moderating the meeting to kind of keep people on task and you know to keep objection objectives going in some type of flow so here I've just put down a simple timeline and again this is a kind of a long meeting uh, but, but you can change the times to fit whatever type of meeting you're actually having I've also put in a little area here where you can put tasks and progress and you know different people can contribute to this and add a little notes and I've also included an area where people can add new agenda items as well as assign or you know if you have different people adding new agenda items it's always nice to include who is responsible for this particular agenda item so that it can be reviewed um, so the person moderating the meeting can kind of go through this make sure that uh, everybody stays on task and if somebody has different people have different responsibilities for the tasks in progress uh, that are being discussed about in this meeting um, anybody can make a little edit and leave a note I've also included a little area for call to action uh, items and assignments um, allowing people, you know, person A, person B, to uh, take notes during the meeting, add to their little area, maybe what they're going to do, what they're responsible for. And this gives it a nice orderly fashion so that I can see somebody else's notes, other people can see my notes, maybe they missed something that I forgot, or maybe they understood something differently than I did. So this gives me a way to compare that. Also got little space to add new agenda items for maybe the future, the far future. Um, you know, you can be creative and, and kind of organize uh, this part of it, uh, you know, to best seat, suit the needs of your own meeting. Every meeting has to come to a close, just like every video. And so I've included, you know, a nice little ending here just to remind the moderator to, you know, uh, say something that reinforces the values and the mission of the organization and the shared purpose uh, that is the purpose of the meeting. I like to put in my meeting templates um, at the end, uh, you know, a space for technical questions or any other type of questions. So feel free to ping me, ask for technical assistance, uh, or schedule a meeting uh, to discuss how maybe we can adapt this to your own organization. With that, this is Ernest in the Wave, and I thank you for taking the time of watching this video. I hope you've learned something. Feel free to contact me and ask me any questions, and by all means, stay in touch so that you'll be aware of any future videos that I put out on the Wave topics. Thank you, and have a good day.